Laurent Messier, and I was the executive space researcher for the White House for 26 years. And now we are doing here at Mount Vernon a replica of uh, President George Washington's home, which is a fun thing to do with a lot of very beautiful decoration, as you can see. And uh, the house is done to scale with uh, the kitchen and the slave quarters, and we're going to have the river going around. We even have the chocolate trees with many, many birds, the beautiful eagle, and then we have opened this year the study of the president and also his bedroom, which makes it really much more elaborate than previous year. And uh, the building has about uh, 200 pounds of gingerbread, chocolate, and marzipan in it, and it's a huge structure this year. We also added to the building lights that will illuminate trees and certain part of the house that's going to make it even grander than we have ever done. We keep heading stuff and the carriage is of course brand new this year. Very intriguing piece with the horses there to be made and carried over here and set together. But what takes a lot of time is to do the shingle on the roof. As you can see, they're all made individually and the hundreds and hundreds of them. And after they're made, you have to position them right. I think this is probably the most intricate and difficult part of the house. And of course the cupola on top, which has to be very straight because this is the first thing that people look up and if it will be crooked some, somehow, then everything is crooked. If the cobble is crooked, everything looks crooked. This is our third year here, and at the White House, I believe, I did gingerbread for 17 years. Uh, again, at the White House, we change uh, design practically every year. We used to do the White House some, and then previous year we did like the home where certain president grew up. I remember Bill Clinton was very much touched when he, saw, when he saw that we did his uh, uh, home where he grew up in Arkansas. And he was really, he had kind of a little tear coming down to the side of his cheek here watching his home where he was born and raised. It was really, really something to see, yes. I, I would hope that this is a tradition that will be continued because gingerbread is really the holiday season, Christmas time. And I, in my opinion, there is no Christmas on holiday without gingerbread.